hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is kb5066835 or kb5066128 because of this install error that is 0x800f0991 now the first step is to run these three command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow now copy the first command these commands are provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key now this will run a scan the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete you run the second scan so make a right click click on run is administrator only click on yes to allow but let the first scan complete let the first scan be 100 percent complete then you can run the second command on the same window i'm just showing you as an example now once the second scan is 100 percent complete then run the third scan make sure that you always open command prompt as an administrator and then click on yes to allow paste the once you have to run this command once the second scan is 100 percent complete you have to run each scan one by one once the first scan is 100 percent complete you can run the last scan this scan this scan is important once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working pause and restart the update now for this you can go to windows update if you see retry option over here hit retry if that does not work you can pause the update here you can see pause pause and then hit resume updates and then you can check if you retry see retry click on retry now the next step is to start these services now for this type in services in window search box and then click on services now find app readiness make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now make a right click and then click on restart now find windows update make a double click on windows update again set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart now once done find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then again make a right click click on restart now you can try to update your windows 11 and then check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here uh, write down the name of the update that is kb5066835 and then click on search now type in w i n ver in winver in window search box and then click on winver run command over here check the version in my case it's version 25h2 and then you have to check system type so go to system in window settings scroll down click on about option and here you can see 64 bit operating system so for me it's windows 11 version 25h2 x64 based system so if you have windows 11 version 24h2 x64 then this is the right one for you so you have to download as per your system and then over here you will see kb5066835 and then once the download is complete click on this file and just follow the on-screen instruction and then install this update manually and then restart your computer and then you can check now do the same thing with the other update so if you're facing the problem with the other update that is 50661 uh, the other update the .NET frame update uh, you can write down the name of the update and then you can try to install it now the next step is to use fix problems using windows update now for this open windows settings once again go to windows update go to advanced option and then go to recovery option over here and then over here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time 
and once this is complete it will repair the version so over here you will see version 25h2 or x uh, version 25h2 or 24h2 and it will repair once this option is complete once this is complete it will take some time once this is complete restart you can be and then you can check still not working the next step is to last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file you will see the screen click on accept over here and then click on next by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete you can click on finish and then let this close automatically and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can try to update your windows 11 and you should you should be able to install those updates so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel